Every day around the world, millions of people need emergency care. People seek care for infections and injuries, heart attacks and strokes, asthma or complications during pregnancy. An organized and integrated emergency care system gets care to people and people to care. Timely emergency care saves lives. When an emergency occurs, bystanders are essential to provide first aid until professional care is available. Bystanders need, one, to be able to call for help, ideally through a universal access number. Two, to know the basics of first aid to safely assist the ill and injured. And three, to be protected by a good Samaritan law. Universal access numbers allow bystanders to activate the system so that trained pre-hospital providers can be dispatched. Once at the scene, these providers can rapidly assess and stabilize the patient for transport. Using specific protocols, they identify the destination hospital that can best provide the needed care. During transport, the patient's condition is continuously monitored and interventions are performed. Ambulances always need at least two personnel, one to monitor and manage the patient during transport and another to drive. An ambulance personnel should be able to communicate with the hospital prior to arrival if needed. At the hospital during handover, the ambulance provider quickly gives critical information to hospital personnel. As patients arrive, they are triaged to different areas to ensure that life-threatening conditions are recognized and that all patients receive the care they need when they need it. Triage is done by assigning patients to categories based on acuity of their conditions. Some patients need to be seen immediately, while other patients may safely wait. Trained personnel use clear protocols and specific equipment to assess and manage patients. After initial care is provided in the emergency unit, patients might be admitted to other hospital units for further inpatient care, transferred to another facility, or discharged home after treatment. An effective emergency care system needs laws and regulations, protocols to guide hospital personnel, certifications to ensure compliance with standards, and processes for accreditation of the quality and safety of the services provided. There are several standard indicators that can be used to evaluate the performance of an emergency care system. These might include, for example, time intervals between key actions or clinical outcomes. This short video summarizes the following essential functions recommended by WHO for an emergency care system. These components can be implemented in every country, in different ways, depending on available resources. To learn more about WHO's tools for strengthening emergency care systems in countries, visit the WHO Emergency Care website. Remember, timely emergency care saves lives.